Hello and welcome back to Banner Lord. Now you can see right here that we're actually going to be doing a task. I'm actually going to send off a companion to do this task. It is to hunt a uh, well, to hunt a couple of groups of forest bandits. And so I'm sending off all of these guys because troop quality does actually have an effect. And I've just filled, them, filled it out a little bit with some recruits and some watchmen and so on and so forth. But these guys right here are going to take care of business, or at least I hope so. And obviously Kiroslava is going to go off too. So they're hopefully going to be able to do that. There, there are three groups to do, as I said. And it might, might be a little bit difficult for them. It might be a little bit difficult. Anyway, I'm just going to recruit a couple more people right there. And then we are going to head back to Epicrotia, I think is how you probably say it. Anyway, we're going to go over there and see if we can... Well... <laughs> don't really know whether we're allying ourselves. Not really, really, because that's the point. We're kind of pulling the wool over both of their eyes if we uh, uh, if 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 we don't know what to do yet. You know, and that's the thing. We kind of have a bit of a, a bit of a decision to make, to be honest. Okay. Oh, sea raiders. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, that might have been uh, that might have been pretty messy. Actually, that might have been pretty messy if we had decided to. Uh, Ooh, yeah, well, if they'd decided to actually engage upon us, then we would have had some issues. Anyway, I'm actually going to get off my mount right here. And uh, I'm actually going to just kind of stand around here. And uh, we're just going to wait and see where they come from. They're coming from up there. Yeah, now, of course, that's the thing. I'm, I'm thinking what we're going to do is we're going to try and hide behind... Oh, never mind. Okay, they're actually already coming. I thought to myself I might have a little bit of extra time. But no such luck. So let me see if I can just do some damage. Enemies are playing. That was easy enough. 1.5 right now. That's the point. Basically, any single time I can actually see a, um, a fight where I can literally just get the easiest, easiest victory without having to really do too much. Like, for example, these other looters right here might actually be something for us. Just going to see. Mm, no one can really level up. Okay. Shall we try and fight these sea raiders? I think we will. I think we are going to try and fight these sea raiders. Let's see if we can do it. I am much faster than they are. Oh no, please don't, please don't gang up with those looters. Okay, phew. I was a bit worried there for a second. Okay, so yeah, there's only eight of them. As you can see, that guy on the right actually does have chainmail on. So they're going to have some pretty decent gear. And I'm hopeful that maybe, just maybe, if we're lucky, we might very well be able to gain some of that armor ourselves. So let's move my forces a little bit ahead here. I'm going to tell my horse archers to follow me for the moment because I would like to maybe do a little bit of a uh, little bit of flanking action right here. I'm not trying to be super strategic against sea raiders, but you've got to bear in mind that these guys are probably going to be quite deadly in comparison to the standard looters. As you can see, they actually do a lot of damage already. Let's tell these guys to charge in, tell these guys to charge in, because we have now scattered them a little bit, and it is going to be a lot easier for us to deal with them, or at least I hope so. Uh, mm -hmm. Ugh. How, how annoying. There we go. <laughs> It's like, oh yes, oh, oh inaccurate. Uh, yes, fantastic. Oh well, there you go. That is indeed a victory for us. Actually, very easy. We lost one person, I think. So that's not too bad. And we're still getting one renown for that. But I, the, the thing that I'm really after is the loot. The loot is going to be something that I'm very intrigued about seeing. Because... Okay. That's it. Huh. Well... Sumter horse is alright, I guess. I mean, you know, not the not the greatest thing in the world, but alright. Uh, yeah, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more than that, as you can no doubt tell. Alright, let's go for Sturgeon Spearman right there. Uh, trained Archer, there we go, that's nice. Okay, so we're going to be fighting these looters now, and uh, I'm just literally going to do a similar thing to what I did before, where I'm just going to get off my horse. And because these are looters, we shouldn't have too many difficulties dealing with them. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tell my tell my infantry to uh, raise shields. Because personally, I feel like if they have a shield, they should probably use it relatively nicely. Let's put my archers behind my infantry for the moment. 
And can can we actually tell them to do anything particularly? Line is usually the best, I suppose. Yeah, that seems pretty good for me. So, uh, what about the cavalry? We could tell them to go into a wedge formation, I suppose, even though there's only a few of them. So, why not? Alright, so let's tell these guys to now move a little bit forward, and then we'll tell them to move a little bit forward as well. Oh, hello. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's tell these guys to now charge in. Oh, look at that. Yes. They're actually getting kills with their bows and things as well, which I very much like. Well, not bad. Not bad. And I think that is actually it. They're fleeing. Yep, that is actually it. Okay, fantastic. So that means 2.5 renown. And that's the thing. You've got to bear in mind that we do need renown to be able to increase our clan tier. And that is the thing that I am very much trying to do right now because, in my opinion, having additional clan tiers is probably maybe one of the most important things that you can get because... Obviously, if you increase your clan tier, you're going to have a much easier time with your army size and stuff like that. And let's face it, I am, you know, I took a long time to get my clan tier to one. And I'd like to be a little bit quicker to get my clan tier to two. As you can see right here, it is going to give me additional party size. And it's going to give me another companion as well. And I'm thinking that we're probably going to kick Pelasaur, maybe. What do you think? What do you think about kicking this guy? Because obviously, he's, if he's not going to level up, then it's basically pointless, I guess, to uh, leave him in there. But if we want to keep him for sentimental reasons, then uh, we can do that as well. There's actually a re relatively large band of mountain bandits here. We might like to do something with them. If I can catch them. Are they faster than me? That's a bit weird. I thought I had enough horses, but uh, maybe not. Okay. So, same thing. Once again, we're going to do a little bit of a shield wall, because mountain bandits... They do sometimes have a couple of things, but they're not forest bandits, thankfully, so... Let's, uh, let's get them into a shield wall right there, and the archers does... It doesn't really matter what we put them in, but we are going to put the cavalry into a wedge, I guess. doesn't really matter about that either, but hopefully my cavalry horse archer people will actually be able to do something against this enemy. being kind of annoying, isn't he? Ah, can't believe that missed. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> I can believe that missed. Alright, let's see if we can do something. Or not, because apparently my horse got murdered. Okay, where's the guy with the horse? Is he, is he already dead? I think he's already dead. Let's tell these guys to charge in. Yeah, I know. I was a bit slow to charge them in. But the thing is, is that I kind of wanted to level up my throne weapon proficiency a little bit. And uh, being able to do that without being harassed because they're focusing on your army. That's kind of the reason why I have been doing that in the past in this series as well. Literally just because I want to get my throne weapon proficiency up as high and as fast as you can. Because if I can do that, then I can unlock the really, really powerful skills later down the line. And that's going to be super fun. Mark my words. It's going to be super, super fun to get those things. Anyway, ooh, there we go. Yes, Imperial Cavalry army, uh, Armor even. Give me that. That's got 29 body armor. Very nice. Okay, yeah, and I'll just take the rest. There we are. Nice. Okay, that's actually really good. We did end up losing a couple of people, but they're mostly wounded, so that's not too bad. Hopefully we will not run into anyone that actually wants to do us harm at this point, because we might have some issues then. <laughs> we might have some issues. Okay, so let's go over to Epicrotia, and uh, we'll see exactly what's going on. We're actually uh, gaining a point in Steward now as well, because we have such a great amount of variety in terms of our food, which is actually very nice. And we did level up, so let's actually take a quick look here. Uh, steward, we actually do have something that we can spend in. Oh, riding skill also has something to be to spend in. That's actually really nice. 
Okay, so Stuart actually doesn't really do anything for us. As you can see, plus one influence if ruler and plus 10% more tax from villages. I don't have a village, but if I do become a vassal, then that might make sense. So plus one influence if ruler or 10% more tax from villages. Personally, I feel like the tax is probably going to be probably going to be the best one. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you need influence uh, eventually when you become, like, your own liege and so on and so forth, because apparently influence is all about, basically, well, <laughs> at the risk of sounding even even w more stupid, I guess uh, you could say, is, um, you know, influencing people. <laughs> That's exactly what it's for. So I guess I'm just going to go for the taxes. Should I? Because I'm going to be making a lot of money anyway. If ruler... It's only if ruler. I'm I'm not going to be a ruler for a while, and I might get a I might get a village. Yeah, going to take the tax, and let's have a look at the riding skill right here. Okay, six percent to horse hit points. That's all I can take. And the smithing. Well, some of you have been kind of helpful about that, and I think that iron maker is probably going to be good. Three units of crude iron from one unit of iron ore, because being able to sell a bunch of stuff like this probably much much better so we'll go for the uh, iron make although this does make it three units of charcoal from two units of i still don't know ah oh, never mind i'm just gonna leave it but uh, we can choose a focus point i think i might spend it on smithing where is smithing again there it is i might spend it on smithing because i think that in general i think it's gonna be really really good when we've leveled it up and it might be a lot of fun. Writing skill might actually be good to go for as well, because as you can see, we're at our learning limit right now, so we probably want to advance that a little bit. There we go. All right, so let's go into the trade real quick, and actually, you know what? I might actually want to do a little bit of smelting first. So let's do that. Okay, let's just get all these things out of here. Oh, I actually don't have any more. Oh, I don't have the required material. Oh, yeah, because I don't... I mm, Yes, I need charcoal. See, now that's the thing. So let's actually just have a look here. So if I take the other skill, then that's going to give me three crude iron instead of two. Uh, is, that, is that the way it is? Let's have a look. Three units of crude iron. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to go for the charcoal, in my opinion. I think the charcoal is probably good because even though it just gives you triple the amount in, instead of giving me just one extra i think that that is much better in my opinion but maybe it maybe it's a mistake who knows uh ah right okay uh, okay well I, I guess it's fine i guess it's all right okay so smithing is now 28 we're going to continue leveling up smithing as much as we possibly can as well by the way there we go yes oh that's it Okay, so let's smelt a little bit of... Oh, I can't do this either because I have already spent all my charcoal. Ah, the trials and tribulations. The trials and tribulations. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so we're going to keep all of these things because we will be able to uh, smelt them. Uh, so I'm going to have to lock all of these. I wonder about the shield. Can I actually use the shield to, uh, to smelt that? I'm not entirely sure. But we'll keep the beer, the wine, and all that stuff. We'll, we'll sell the crude iron. I guess we'll sell the crude iron. I'm not going to sell the charcoal or anything like that. Uh, and we'll sell everything else. I think. What was I actually wearing beforehand? Because I, I took off my old armor, and I'm not entirely sure where it went. <laughs> uh, it must have gone somewhere. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so we're going to get 1,400. Oh, that's actually really nice. So I'm going to buy a little bit of extra cheese. We'll buy some extra meat, butter, fish, etc. Then we'll just get 800 for that. And then we will speak to Istiana, finally. And then we will see what she has to say. Okay, yes, I intend to use the banner to save the thing. There we go. And I will tell you what I know. I heard about one other piece. I do not know where the other pieces are. You may need to keep searching for them. When you've recovered all the pieces, return to me. Right. Okay, so that's not going to be too bad. Now let's see where it is. It's probably going to be... 
in a hideout. Yes, it is in a hideout, actually. And that's the hideout over there. Oh, it's a mountain bandit hideout. That might actually be a little bit easier than the other one that we uh, participated in. But uh, yeah, let me see. I did not want to go here. I actually wanted to recruit some troops. Because I'm actually a bit low on troops right now, which is kind of bad. Okay, so let's just go over here. I'm just also looking for a variety of different tasks as well, because I, I kind of think to myself that maybe it would be a good idea to do some tasks, you know, get our enterprise up and running finally, because even though it is going to be very expensive, it is going to be quite, quite worth it, you know? I think it's going to be quite worth it. So let's see what this guy has. That's the same guy that I didn't want to talk to beforehand, isn't it? Yep, I think it is. Right, okay, so I guess what would be the best course of action now is for us to go into the, uh, to that hideout. Uh, let's get a warrior. Oh, I should sell my prisoners. I should sell my prisoners before we do that. So let's go in and do that. Uh, tavern. Oh, only 312? Yeah, I guess we didn't really have anything too amazing. So yeah, that is to be expected. But otherwise, we're going to go over to some of these other villages. Because you never know, there might be a task there to rescue someone's daughter. Or some other relatively easy task. And uh, that would be great. Because if we can do that, then we're going to be in a great position to uh, get that enterprise. And that's really, really good. Bandit base. Is that the same, the same hideout? Is that the same hideout? I'm not entirely sure. But I'm going to talk to him about it anyway. And we'll see whether it actually is. All right. So, uh, what are you uh, what are you going to give me for it? <laughs> you need someone to deal with this. Any bandits that can easily spot and evade a large army, but you can enter the hideout with a small group of determined warriors. Okay. Oh, I was on a companion with two good men for ten days. Whoa. Uh, no, I'm actually going to go to the hideout myself. I think. All right. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I don't know what's going to happen here. Let's have a look. There's the hideout. Okay, so it's a forest bandit hideout. Not a big fan of those. I gotta, I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of those. We're going to go over to the forest bandit hideout first, and then we'll do Istiana's hideout after that. All right, so here we go. Going into the forest bandit hideout, and uh, this is our second time doing one of these. A bit worried about it, to be honest. Because, let's face it, I am uh, outnumbered very severely, as you can see by the uh, top bar on the screen. I'm actually going to tell my people to charge in. I'm actually going to tell them to charge in straight away, and we'll see what we can do. There we go, cut him down. Yes, nice, perfect, perfect. Okay, let's tell my guys to uh, come over here. One unit, I think. We lost one unit. I took no damage. I used a couple of thrown weapons, but we still have a couple left, which is exactly what we want. And now we have some enemies shooting at us, which is not too bad. Not entirely sure why Pelasaur has joined us either in this particular attack, but uh, well, we've already cleared out the largest camp in the hideout, so I'm pretty happy with that. I do only have one more thrown weapon remaining, which is pretty bad. And look at that. Wow. Okay, they actually saw me from all the way over here. Interesting. Okay, we're going to have to tell my people to charge in. Right, 
I think my only hope is to duel him. My only hope is to duel this guy. And if I can win, then that's great. But uh, yeah, I will not be able to take on five guys by myself. So I will... Okay, I will go for a duel. Let's go. Got him. Whew. All right, we actually did get him and we have won the battle. Fantastic, phew, that was actually extremely close and we were able to achieve victory. 3.8 renown, that's pretty nice. 2.4 morale, not bad. And uh, hopefully we'll be gaining a lot of loot for this as well as, uh, well, peasants. Not a big fan of those peasants, but um, yeah, it's fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay, so what do we have here? Anything good? It looks like no. No, we've got, we've got better stuff. We've got better stuff, all right. Yeah, but otherwise there's just a Norse hatchet here, which is decent, I suppose, but there's a lot of food there, so I'm happy with that. And there you go. Phew, okay, so we gained one renown for completion of that. We increased our relation with that fellow. And is that it? Did I not get, oh, wow. Did I not get any money? I think I might have gotten money. I've got 14,000 now. So I might have gotten money but I don't know for sure whether that was actually the case. Okay, well, whatever the case, let's go back to this town over here because I would like to sell a whole bunch of stuff. I'd like to restore my, myself and, you know, maybe get uh, maybe get some smithing done or something like that. But uh, yeah, otherwise, let's go into the trade menu. All right, so we're just going to lock the Norse hatchet. Wow, there's a lot of stuff that I've locked here. I might have some issues with that. But otherwise, let's sell. 187. We're going to buy... Should I buy some more horses to go faster? We should probably buy some more horses, but these are not exactly cheap, so I guess we'll just pay for two of them. And then we can recruit... Uh, no, we can't recruit. Okay, well, I'm just going to wait here for some time then. Gotta say, walking through the streets of Epicrotia at the moment is actually extremely enjoyable, and uh, we're now here at the wood workshop, because I'm thinking to myself, maybe I, maybe I can buy it? Okay, it's actually going to be 15,000. I actually thought it was going to be 13,900. I think I have just enough for that. So that's unfortunate, but it's all right because we do have some smithing to do as well. Do I have enough? Yeah, I do have enough uh, stamina for that too. So let's do... Yeah, I can't do any refining or anything like that. Uh, well, I can do a little bit of refining, but that's basically it. We can smelt some stuff though, I guess. Well, a little bit. Then we can refine some more. There we go, and maybe we can then smelt some more as well. And there we are. Okay, we're just going to go back and forth, back and forth. And uh, it's actually quite good to get the wooden weapons sometimes, because they will give you hardwood, which is actually really nice. So, ah, I can't do anything more. All right. Well, that's absolutely fine then. Uh, can I recruit any more? No, I can't. Okay, so I actually have 49 troops, because I think that... Uh, Ah, the, these guys are almost done. So, 704 gold. Hopefully, they are going to be returning relatively soon. Let's actually just continue to wait here for some time. And we'll see if they are successful. It looks as though they are successful. Fantastic. So, I actually just gained 704. And as you can see, I have 14,800 now. And all I need is a little bit extra, just a little bit extra, and then I'll be able to purchase that wood workshop. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.